Hi, this is Sandy from Guild Portal, and I'm going to do this video on our drag and drop editing. Uh, first, you need to be logged into your website as a super administrator. Then, you need to put the guild in edit mode. You can find this either uh, depending on where your navigation is. I have top, na top nav, so it is down underneath it. If your administrator picked, it might be up at the very top. And if you have side nav, it will be under all of your navigation, under administrations, and then edit. I'm going to go back to the other uh, page because I personally prefer top nav and because this page isn't pink. So I'm going to click the edit. It's um, again across the top under pages and edit. This puts the pages now in edit mode. There are a couple of things so that you know that it's done. You'll see up here you've got a new little icon for delete. And we've got this top box up here. Since this is about editing, I'm going to go over the editing part. Um, up here we can add a new page. You do that by clicking on that. I'm going to name my page. And then you need to pick the minimum level to see. Public or ev is everybody. Associate is everyone with associates and up. Officers would be officers and super admins and so on. I'm going to go ahead and pick just public. I'm going to hit save going to return to preview mode so that you can see the site and you'll see your new test page. I'm going to click and turn the editing back on so we've added a new page. I'm going to go back to the, on to the next one and I'm going to add a new widget. Click on that. You have to give your widget a title. and I'm going to name it my new widget. Then you have to pick your type of widget and you can scroll down to see all of them but I am just going to go ahead and pick the top one which is our achievement widget and then I have to pick location later we can just drag and drop it but for right now you pick your location and I want on the right side of the page add this widget and there is my new widget the next thing on this list here is delete this page but I don't want to delete my home tab because it would delete the page and it would delete all the content on it so I'm going to go to my home tab my home page and I'm going to click delete this page. It's going to ask me for a confirmation. Again, remember if you delete it, it will delete the, the page and all the content on it. Then you'll have to re-add the page and you will also have to re-add all of the content on that page. Hit confirm. I wanted to point out something else. You'll notice when I added my widget, it only added it to the page I was at. It didn't add it to every other page. So each page can be unique in its own and what kind of contents and widgets. I could put that same widget on every page, but I'd have to add it to each page. Alright, so we went to add a new page, we went to add a new widget, and we deleted a page. Now we're going to go to the drag and drop part. So I added, if you remember, my new widget, and I am going to move it over, oh, all the way to the left, and I want it to go above voice chat. And then I decide I really want my voice chat widget on top of that. What I did is I clicked on the uh, <coughs> content box part and I just moved it on over where I wanted to go. And that's the drag and drop editing, that's the drag and drop part to put it where you want it. Um, if I wanted to delete the content type, I'm going to delete my new content type right here. You would just go up to this little box up here and it says delete this widget. It will also ask for you if you, it will also give you a confirmation if you want to delete that widget and yes I do and then from here I could also go ahead and edit the content types straight by clicking just the edit so if I wanted to change the welcome message I could do that but I'm not going to so that is the basics of our drag and drop and our editing from the main page if you have watched the video editing the control panel and the control panel basics that is also how you can edit the site this is just a simpler easier way um, the last thing you want to do is return at to preview mode so that as you're browsing the site you don't mistakenly move. As you can see I can no longer move the content. This is Sandy and I want you to thank you for choosing Guild Portal for your Guild's home on the web. Have a great day.